not breaking up yet. This is your last chance. We want to get outside and take some more pictures. Enjoy the beautiful scenery. We will then be making our way back. The Hubbard Glacier is located in the portion of southeastern Alaska where the state begins to extend south bordering the Canadian coastline. It originates 76 miles to the east in the Canadian Yukon, and has basically two tributaries. One is from an attitude of 11,000 feet that is 5 miles west of Mount Walsh. The second is from the eastern side of Mount Logan at 18,300 feet. It takes about 400 years for us to move the 76 miles to the face of Hubbard. The face of Hubbard is over 6 miles wide and 40 stories tall. The glacier extends 200 to 250 feet below the surface at its face. However the bottom under the glacier is as much as 1,300 feet deep. Moving away from the fact into disenchantment bay the depth returns to as much as 750 feet. The glacier routinely calves off icebergs the size of a 10-story building. While the face of the glacier is 40 stories high, most of the ice is below the waterline. Thus, newly calved icebergs can't shoot up into the air quite dramatically.
for years the discussion of glaciers has been about their demise and receding boundaries. Always the impact of climate change has been at the forefront. This has not been the case for the Hubbard Glacier. Just the opposed. It has in fact advanced at a rate of about 80 feet per year since 1895. In fact for size it is huge and is said to be about 25% larger than the state of Rhode Island. It has the nickname Galloping Glacier and is moving relentlessly west to the Gulf of Alaska. It is joined near its terminus by the smaller flow of Valerie Glacier. They will in time have an impact on not only the pristine area known as Disenchantment Bay, but more immediately the fact that Hubbard may close off the exit of Russell Fjord at Gibson Point on its right side, which it had already done twice before. In May 1986 the glacier surged forward and closed the outlet creating what was called Russell Lake. The water level rose 82 feet before the dam began to give way October 8, 1986. The opening allowed the fjord to return to its previous level. The glacial lake outburst released the equivalent water flow of about 35 Niagara Falls. Then again in the spring of 2002 the glacier closed the opening again in July. Heavy rains in August washed the closure and the fjord returned to normal. The thinking is that the blockage will occur again from time to time. It is estimated that by 2025 the blockage of Russell Fjord will be permanent. Hubbard Glacier is the largest of eight calving glaciers in Alaska that are currently increasing in total mass and advancing. All of these glaciers calve into the sea, are at the heads of long fjords, have undergone retreats during the last 1,000 years, calve over relatively shallow submarine rock or ridges, and have unusually small outlet areas compared to their accumulation areas. The Hubbard Glacier routinely calves off icebergs the size of a 10-story building, while the face of the glacier is 40 stories high, most of the ice is below the waterline. Thus, newly calved icebergs can shoot up into the air quite dramatically making it quite dangerous for ships to venture too close to the face of the glacier. The floating icebergs are also serious threats to shipping as some are large enough to seriously impact the ship's hull.